Got a little, uh, little treat for me and for you as well. Let's go and have an introduction to this, shall we? She's got plenty of weight on the front anyway. Yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> two tons. So, um, you're here with Jason Jolly. You want to tell me a little bit about the tractor, Jason? I will indeed. Is it all new to you? Is this all new to you? This is all new to you're me. You're the same as me, face for radio. Indeed, very much so. <laughs> wow, look at that. Now that's it. Good, handy little trick. Good access, good access all around. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and simple. So se separate um, separate tank for the back end and transmission on That's these. it. So you have three zones. You have an engine zone. Yeah. Hydraulic zone. Yeah. Sight gauges. Yeah. Transmission zone. It's around the back here. Is this first time you've been on camera for doing things it like this? It is indeed. And then you've got a <laughs> down there. Just down the side there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. As you see the spec, it's the standard spec with these. Right. No, uh, no optional extras to go on it, really, or no, no need. All right, okay, everything's on there. Stand the spec. What they come yeah. out with a warrior, light impacts, generally everything. Uh, even come out with the hydraulic top link. We haven't put one on for this right. purpose, but yeah. And the drone power pickup hitch. Cool. We need to go inside then. How much weight have you got in the back wheels on this? There's thing? 600 and about 650 on each side. Right. Plenty of help. Sorry. And two ton on the front. So you got some grip then. It certainly has. And on the inside, you'll see the disc brakes. Oh, what, in the front here? Yes. All right. Yeah. So do you need a, what, what is it, an Allen, where's the, where's the latch? Where does it go in? <laughs> you just need a straight screwdriver. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. See the front suspension and everything else. Yeah. Is that just that ram, one ram? It's one each side. Yeah, one each side, yeah, yeah. 250 horsepower boost. Uh... It doesn't boost. No, straight, right, yeah. 246. Yeah, all the way through. Yeah, these don't boost. Yeah, less complicated. You know where you stand, then. You know it? where you are. All right. So we'll just let her initiate. Yeah. So the main thing you have to remember with these, if you have hold of the joystick, you'll feel at the back with your fingers. There's a consent button and also a roller. Yeah. There yep. you're made to control. We'll go through the controls for a start. So very simply done. Green is linkage, linkage related. Blue is hydraulic and orange is transmission. So it's nice and simple all the way through. Yep. All the way through the Deutsch ranges. Yep. Everything is the same. You have consent buttons. So once you start her up, you consent to unlocking your linkage. Yep. You consent to unlocking your hydraulics. This is you do every time you get unlocked. Right, we better go and put it on a plow then and see how we get on. That's it. Yeah, the tractor's just come from a previous demo straight to me, so... You'll notice straight away if you look down the, the amount of vision you have at the back window. Yeah, you can see everything you need to see. When you get a new tractor that you're not used to, you turn into a small child, don't you? How do you, how do you work that then, Jason? Ah. Right, mind your feet. You've got your air services here as well. Yeah. Don't even know it's got it on. So Jason never properly introduced this yesterday, but we got a um, Deutsch 7250 TTV Warrior. I ain't never used a Deutsch. Are you lot on? Yeah, you're on. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to Jason. Jason was a bit annoyed because it weren't washed down, and it obviously he didn't want to see the tractor dirty on film. But you lot all appreciate that the tractor work. It's been working. It's been straight to from another farm. Yeah, it's gonna get dirty. Yeah, it's a beast, isn't it? It's huge. Uh, right, I've got the key. Got the old Lemkin plow. I have got a press for this, but for the 100 acres that I'm going to do, I'm going to have a power hour running in front. So I've got the power hour to get ready in a minute. And let's see if we can remember how to work this puppy. Well, that's a good start. That is not there on a the John Deere. It's not too bad, but on the little McCormick, it's right there. It's right here. On the John Deere, is this tucked up inside? So you can see everything out the back window. Um, so I've got to unlock the hydraulic. Oh, I've got to press and hold. There we go. And I've got to press and hold that. Th things I'm not used to. And we're up. There we go. One thing I've got to do before I go do anything. Poor old girl used to do a thousand acres. Now it only does a hundred acres if it's lucky. Next year I won't even do that. So I may, I may end up selling this plow. 
Oh, there we go. You can hear it coming out. There we go. Pretty good. I don't know how everyone manages to keep all their kit like nice and clean and rust free and stuff. All right, that's good. Let's see if the grease has come out the other side. Uh, no, not really, no. But that should be enough. Amazing how many times these things uh, move around once you uh, turn in round 150 times on a field. All good. Just one last one there. All good. She should be sufficiently lubricated. Right. Hey. Mm, da -da 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 -da. Oh man. Can't find nowhere to put me GoPro. Oh, more drink holders. Oh, sweet. There we go. Lovely. Phone holder, maybe. Yep. Ah, look at that. Perfect. Right, let's get ourselves comfy. We're off. Right, I ain't got a clue how to drive one of these things, people. So, um, no laughing at me, please. It's not too bad once you get used to it. Now I know what everything does. Ooh. It's got two ton on the front of this. More than enough. But then it is a big ass tractor, isn't it? So, it's a big 250 horsepower tractor. At least I ain't got a mirror in this one, so you can see me with my GoPro on my head looking like an idiot. We're ribbing. We'll see what sort of a job Jay's done now. <laughs> First time subsoiling. Let's swing that over and then unfold the old girl. And then we're still in forward. So uh, let's have some diff lock and four wheel drive. We're away. Yeah, going across subsoiled work is never gonna end well with plowing. Me and plowing, driving in a straight line is uh, non-existent, so uh, no laughing. Look at that, shining like a diamond in a goat's ass. Sounds like she's purring, purring fairly. So you can tell almost every, every time I go across the subsoiler, like wheelings, it, um, pulls the plow and pulls the tractor around so we're gonna try hardest to uh keep out of the furrow a little bit every time the wheel drops in a f in a in a ridge where the subsoil has been it's nice and soft so it just pulls around all over the place but i think we're all right there a couple of ends to straighten her up no laughing at my plowing please people Ugh. right just put another mark in for the um fermi sprayer wheeling there somewhere will do oh, 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 oh. Yeah, once, once you get used to it, I mean, I've been a bit uncomfortable in the seat, to be honest. And now I've lowered the seat down, so my feet are on the floor a bit more, and then uh, I'm a bit more comfortable. Yeah, it's got plenty of grunt. So yeah, that's our first little afternoon plowing. I mean, I've done, I don't know, five, 10 acres, 15 acres, maybe 20 acres of plowing. Can you see that? That's pretty good. It's all new to me. So like the fast track, it's a bit more complicated than the fast track. The fast track I thought was really quite a simple tractor to figure out. I'll just straighten the plow up a bit. And the old lemkin, look. Yeah, and, and obviously my deers, I'm so used to my deers. We've been running them since I was eight. When I was eight years old. So uh, yeah, obviously being an eight year old, I was out there driving them. So I know I probably shouldn't have been, but uh, the rules were different then. I am gonna have a shave tonight because I'm getting a bit unruly. I like this one button that turns everything on like the four wheel drive and the diff lock and they're automatic so they cut out if you want when you turn the steering wheel yeah first impressions are good i don't like where the radio is the radio is miles away from me it's right up here look uh mirrors are good i can see everything i want to see and i've got a nice little mirror to look down the side of the cam yeah it's fairly quiet it's, it's fairly comfortable fairly quiet yeah now we're going to take her home and uh, lock her up in the shed and um off we go you lot on there we go how are you Look at the state of my hair, look. Right, now, Jason said I ain't got a... Uh, there should be a panel here somewhere to check the oil on this thing. I don't know where it is. I gotta check the oil, otherwise it, if I blow it up, then I gotta pay for it, so. Where are we then? Nope. Nope. Ha. Ah. I'm guessing that's it. See what we got. Oh, it's a bit low. That'll be all right. And then my... John Deere's have one hydraulic, one transmission, one bank end oil. That's where this has got a separate hydraulic tank. So I'm guessing that's all good. Filled right up. Lovely. Get this fired up a little bit. Wherever I put the key, there's the key. There you go. There's a few things that I'm not really sure about. Apparently I got it in a different mode or I haven't set the auto revs up properly. So the auto revs are just um, running running high when it should be like cutting the engine revs back a little bit. So uh, right, that's that. we'll leave that warming up for a minute. We'll just have a look over the power harrow. Let's 
state of this whole thing. Poor old girl. Well, that's obviously working well. Give her a little bit of a spruce up and a little bit of clean down. Check the oil in here. Oil's good in there. Oil's good in there. And any cold today? The only thing I don't really like about this track at the minute is the fact that I've got to just okay everything before I can do anything. I don't know why you would need to okay everything that you want to do. No, I know I want to lift that up. Let me lift it up. I wonder if it would go a bit faster now I turn that on. Yesterday I came home and it would only do 40k. I wondered if because I had the hydraulics on that it wouldn't let me go 50k or 60k or 60k, 65k. Jason reckons this will do. So wondered if that was why it wouldn't let me uh, rip it. Doing roadworks. No idea what they're doing, but they're doing roadworks of some sort. Right, let's see if it'll do 60k now. No, and it does 40k. Look, what have I done there then? I don't know. So I got grumpy granddad's out here on the subsoiler until Jay turns up, and then she'll go on the subsoiler, and dad'll get on the power. Right, we are here. Ah, lovely bit of plowing. Right, let's just shorten that top link just a couple of turns. Plow is obviously working really well because it's cleaning itself up. Normally, if something's out, it, it won't clean itself up very well. Uh, lengthening. So, half, one, half, two. All right, keep it a bit taut. Yeah, it's working pretty good. Our fence soil was, I mean, it's so soft and fluffy now that Dad's been through with a subsoiler. You can see the difference, folks. Let's see if I can find a bit where the subsoiler's been through. Yeah, there. I can feel here, look, so soft, right where the subsoil has been, that's just busted it up. If I was to walk over there, it feels like concrete. Obviously, that's the reason why we go through with a subsoiler, and Dad's just put the rolls on just to smash it down a bit. Just breaking the pan up, where we've been over it with combines and tractors and sprayers and everything, it creates a compaction, and we have to bust that compaction out, and then... And now I'm ploughing the soil over. You can see the difference. Look, we're trying to bury all this lovely muck under. Nice clean surface to work with. But yeah, if, um, if we get a week of sunny weather coming after this cold snap, all these clods and stuff will stay, rather than breaking down like this, look, you know, just touch them and they break down. They'll be as solid as concrete. So that's why we do it. Plough the muck under, muck ploughed under, power harrowed down, nice flat, lovely clean uh, start to the year. So when we plant the potatoes, the uh, the muck is underneath them, so the roots go down, get the nutrients out of them, the nitrogen and everything. Happy potatoes, happy farmer. Now, I don't know why this thing keeps beaving at me. I've broken it. Because I keep getting off the seat without the handbrake on. Uh, this is The other thing I don't like as well is that it's a consent button on the back here. There's a button on the back there, I don't know if you can see it. But I have to press that before I can go into forward. Just a bit annoying. Quite happy with the straightness of that. I think the plough is working better. I just altered my draft a little bit just to hold it rather than letting it dip and dive and dip and dive a bit where the subsoil legs are gone. I just hold it, held it. Getting the tractor to hold the rear linkage so it stops the plough doing that so much. Just holds it a bit firmer, you know? So you've got a draft control. You can either have it so the tractor holds the implement solid like that and won't let it move up and down so it goes with the tractor. Or you can have it so the implement floats up and down. So uh, if you're going over a, a dip and a bump and a dip and a bump and stuff with a power hour or a cultivator or something, the cultivator don't come out of the ground when the tractor goes over a dip and then it doesn't dive itself right in. So the draft control just lets whatever float around and you can adjust that so you can have a little bit or you can have a lot, you know? Exaggerate it a bit. Yeah, you can see where it's dipping and diving. It's leaving a little bit of a hole there, so... Yay, we just had Verdestat sharing our um, sharing our Facebook posts, um, Instagram posts and stuff, so that's cool. If you haven't already, go over to our Instagram page. There's some stupid stuff on... Well, some cool stuff on Instagram and then some stupid stuff on TikTok, but TikTok seems to be uh, full of pretty people with their boobs out, but I'm not that pretty. I can be sexy. Sexy farmer. Yeah, I need to concentrate on trying to straighten this up now because I've got a right old wonk in it. Remember, folks, no laughing at the ploughing. Ploughed it over pretty good, um, but it just uh, won't keep very straight on this subsoil work because the plough's trying to follow the subsoiler and it's doing that every time it finds a subsoiler leg gone through the soil, you know? It's doing that all the time. So you can see it here, look. It's wiggling in and out, in and out, in and out. So it's ploughing pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. I'm chuffed with that. So I'll leave it alone.
to look like an angel with a double chin. <laughs> Peter Griffin style. Deutz is going back today, so uh, I better do a little quick review of it while I fill it up with dinosaur bones. All right, it's come from West Dereham. But other than that, it's only ploughed 50 acres, so we'll see how much diesel it's used. Probably used 20, 30 litres of diesel getting from West Durham. We had a little issue yesterday afternoon. Um, the uh, I think the trailer brakes got locked on on the back end. It happens. The tractor's only done like 200 hours. You're going to get teething problems with new tractors. Yeah, I can't fault the service. Within an hour, a fitter was out with us, and he got us up and running again, and we, we managed to get 50 acres ploughed yesterday. So well done to Collins Brothers. Thank you to Jason. Got me out of a muddle. And we had no more problems. Just a quick adjustment and off, he, off I went again. So there's no bad things about this tractor. I mean, it's it's a lovely tractor. It's a nice place to be. It's lovely and comfortable. Yeah, I, ch I changed the indicator stall. Now I would put this, I would go full Jap style and put that over there. I, every time I get in this thing, I catch it with my, I catch it with my coat. Maybe it's, I'm a bit fat or what, I don't know. But um, I mean, the lights are mega. Jason did say like, you need to try it at night time to see how good the lights are. And, th and they're pretty mega. All like LED light package on the thing. Um, you can see the big lights there and there. They're, they're dotted about all over the place. Two up there, two there. On the corners, on the fenders, on the back here. Fenders, on the mud guard, should I say. Lights there and there. Other than that, I mean, it took me a little while to get used to it. And once I did get used to it, I quite like it, you know. I like these. It's nice and simple. Forward and reverse is there. And your cruise speeds are nice and simple to get to. But what I, this is down for the plough and that's up for the plough. What I kept going for was that for down down for the plow and uh and i went i went in reverse a couple of times but that's just me being uh special so you'd soon get used to it i mean after a 12 hour day i was like uh oh, um that one no yeah this one yeah so um just just me being a bit confused really you got your power button you can just dial that round to how much horsepower you or how hard you want it to pull and then you've got that for once the, the fitter had been out with me he sat with me for 45 minutes or so so and, and i learned even more you know so Another another week on it, and I would I would learn so much. This is nice and simple. I got all my draft controls and height adjustment. Quick get to rather than going into the computer to do everything. So that was good. Uh, USB there. I was charging my GoPro and my uh, drone up yesterday. So hopefully you like the drone footage of the three tractors working in the field yesterday. That's nice and simple. That's perfect. That's all you need. The radio really needs to be there. I mean I'm six foot two or so and i have to lean right forward to to get to it so that was a bit annoying that's lovely and simple that's so simple it's unbelievable but it makes just turning the lights on just a quick flick of that and all the lights come on all the other controls i mean it looks fairly complicated but really once you get used to it it's not i'd like i'd like some bigger buttons on here when you find one you like sat in the yard here but when you're bouncing across the field they could do a being they are finger sized you kind of want just a bit bigger like that you know you know, my big sausage fingers tend to like jab at everything, you know, like, uh, like this. Yeah, and a lovely big sunroof. Look at this, look. Oh, it's a bit dirty, but nice bit of fresh air to come in the cab. So I like that. I also like the quarter windows as well. One there and one there. Got a little fridge down here, which is mega. I put my hat back on now. I keep forgetting I got my GoPro on. It's not a bad place to be, just getting in and out every time I catch that. So let me see how many dinosaur bones it's drunk after doing 50 acres of ploughing. 291 litres of diesel. And it's done a trip from West Durham as well. All, all in all, other than the, that few little niggly things, but nothing nothing major, it's a mega little tractor. Hello. This will be um, the end of my video for today. I hope you like the video, guys. If you like the video, like and subscribe. And grateful for uh, all the viewers and uh, all the all the attention. And um, so, uh, yeah, give us a like, get subscribing, and keep watching for um, more exciting stuff coming our way. Cheers, guys.